My name is Brian Adams. I fought all around the world, toppling giants, facing the best of the best. Well, I bet you're wondering, why is Brian Adams in MCW? Because I want pro wrestling. I want to face people I've never had the pleasure of facing. Brian Adams, he was in his last book. He was punching the bad boy from the top rope. Oh no, oh good lord, oh my god! He just hurts the on him from the top rope on top of that unforgiven steel. And here it is, Brian Adams on the top rope with that cross goose Phoenix splash! No fucking way! One, two, and three! Brian Adams with a win! Oh my god, what a Phoenix Cross Goose Splash! One, two, and three! Brian Adams is rolling up the big man! No fucking way! You guys lose that! One, two, and three! Brian Adams still the win against Keith Jackson! I want to expand my fan base. And I want to do it here in MCWs where legends have been made. Considering my loss in the ladder match at Under Siege, I feel like I let the fans down. But most importantly, I let myself down. And I just wanted to say sorry to all of you. Because I know I was clearly a fan favorite. And I let all y'all down. But it's not ultimately all my fault. I put the blame on MT3, aka Malcolm Tyson III, who backed out of our match the week before in the siege and put Keith Jackson into a match with me, causing me to be fatigued going into the latter match. MT3, if you are really the prince you say you are, you would have faced me like a brave prince. But instead, to be honest with you, the normal person could probably confuse you with being a princess. Mr. Adams, I don't think we officially met. I am Prince, Prince Malcolm Tyson III, and I officially hereby welcome you to my kingdom. You see, Mr. Adams, I need you to understand something. So I'ma say it very slow, so you and all these peasants here can understand. You are not on. You can feel the pain shoot through his neck. Oh my God! Level. You're a peasant. Filthy peasant seeking glory. And believe me, believe me, Mr. Adams, when I tell you, you, like everyone else before you, fail. Now, Protestant Third is climbing up. He is fighting with Brian Adams. He's about to suplex him. No, Brian Adams, coward, fights back. And he's about to. No, oh my lord. No, don't do this. Oh my god, 15 feet face first. No. I'm not standing here, I'm just standing in the bank because of one man, Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams wants to appeal to my subjects, but I never gave him the right because he's nothing but a local fool that has nothing, no wrestling career compared to me. And I'll show up tonight. I, the Prince of Professional Wrestling, will be challenging the former world champion to prove that I don't fight mediocre opponents on the level of Brian Adams. Oh my God!
McIntyre's III is a self-loathing son of a bitch. He is doing this to a damn future Hall of Famer. Mason, oh my god, off the skull! He just cracked his skull open with a steel chair, and he's just beating him senseless. Why does he have to do this? McIntyre's III does not need to resort to this type of chewing tactics while the ref was down, and he's about to pick him up and drop him down. Spinning brain buster, and that's all she wrote. One, two, and three, that bitch three. That self-loathing son of a bitch, Malcolm Tyson III, just had to introduce a steel chair while the ref was down. And now, what's he doing? No, he's looking at a, he's looking at a wounded bird and he's uh, trying to stomp it to death. Come on, and oh my god, it's Brian Adams. He is saving his friend. Here it is, fighting back the Prince. The man Prince is being put down. Oh my god, that's what we need, a hero. Bring some type of earmuff or something because hearing you talk literally makes my whole body shiver. Shiver in disappointment because you call yourself this prince, but really, you haven't proven yourself worthy to be a prince. You're just a jackass. You run away whenever I'm here. You don't disrespect someone like Mason Bowen, you don't disrespect a legend. And you're gonna have to pay for that. You're gonna have to pay for what you did to Mason Bowen. Mr. Adams, I don't like you. Or wish to waste my time with a local fool who is equivalent to a puzzle who can't even piece himself together. So let's make a deal, Mr. Adams. Here's what I propose. You, me, one on one as supremacy.